Hey guys, today at PowerJack Repair we got the Asus motherboard Asus uh, UX560 UX that's the motherboard name also known as Q504U, Q504UA, Q524U UX560 Flip, Q534UX and UX560 now the problem uh, with the laptop is right here is that jack as you can see it's kind of uh, bent and dented and what we're gonna do is we're gonna replace this connector on this motherboard for some reason it's extremely at an angle here going that way as you can see something something went terribly wrong all right, so the first thing we need to do is uh, remove the is to remove this uh, tape on the top. Oh, by the way, we are at uh, powerjackrepair.net. We replace the jacks for 100 bucks total if you send us the laptop, or 60 bucks if you send us just the motherboard. So in this case, the client sent us just the motherboard, and here we see that there was some issue right here on the top. You see that blackness and uh, to start with the process what we need to do is we need to insulate the area around the jack what we use is the captain tape cap tan k a p t o n captain tape it's a heat resistant tape it doesn't let the heat uh, to go through to the motherboard once you're gonna heat up this area we're not gonna we don't want to damage all of the nearby components. We don't want them to get desoldered from the motherboard. So that's the reason we need to use Captain tape for those purposes. So we put the Captain tape like that and like that. It's very important to use the Captain tape on this small black component right here because that's the component closest to the jack and if this component gets desoldered from the motherboard then we kind of screw it it's really hard to solder those tiny little components back to the motherboard so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put double layer of cut and tape here just to make sure that that part of that won't get this other. So now that we insulated everywhere, everything around the jack, so we want to move the tape a little bit to the left because it's kind of sitting on one of the uh, pins right there. So, okay. So insulation, that's important for us. Uh, if it's your laptop, you might not insulate it. Okay, I see the problem. Okay, so here's the problem. I'll show you a bit closer. Okay, I should have shown that to you without the cap and tape. You see this? Right here. This should not be written. This is supposed to be part of the part that's added to the motherboard and going through the motherboard. Uh, this part is still okay, kind of. Well, it's not okay, hold on. Still moves, you see? But this part, it should be soldered directly to the motherboard, right here. All right, so that's your problem right here, bad job. Now, the point is, let's find a compatible, compatible design. comparing mine to what we got here some of them vary in size by height thickness and where those pins are positioned at but this seems to be identical yeah this is identical jack let me show you here so that's identical jack come on focus all right 
right? So this is identical jack, and what we're going to do is we're going to desolder this uh, old connector and solder a new connector in there. So the way how it works, um, first we have to add a little bit more solder to the old connection points because the original I needed to fire up this soldering station. So what we need to do is we need to add uh, the uh, new solder to the old solder. So it's going to mix, basically the old solder going to mix with the new solder. And uh, it's going to be much easier to remove the jack from the motherboard. So, and then we're going to suck all of the all remaining uh, solder from the motherboard by soldering quick and uh, clean the holes so that the holes would be nice and empty clean holes and then we're gonna put this jack right inside of the motherboard and solder everything up so let's let me show you how it's all gonna be done first of all i need to to switch to the this point So at first we add the solder to the motherboard. We want to balance the motherboard so it wouldn't be jumping around. Now we add solder to the top.
Alrighty, let me show you the final product. Looks something like that. It's really hard to differentiate original soldering from non-original soldering. Uh, the thing is we added the solder to the top and to the bottom so that you can so that so that the solder will hold much better. Okay, so I'm just testing the continuity to make sure that everything's gonna be working fine. Yep. So here the plus is on the top and it's supposed to get the electricity to these components right here. And yeah, everything's fine. Everything's fishy. What I want to do also is uh, connect the plug and make sure that the plug is gonna conduct everything fine. Yep. And yep. So yeah, uh, the motherboard is ready, and uh, again, yeah, we had the powerjackrepair.net, uh, powerjackrepair.org, um, 100 bucks total to replace the jack, or 60 bucks if you send just the motherboard. Thanks so much, and you guys have a good day.